Self-measured blood pressure monitoring is important and needs to be done correctly so it can be used to help improve your health. Let's review the basics. Self-measured blood pressure monitoring is when you measure your blood pressure while not at your doctor's office or another healthcare setting. Self-monitoring will help your care team gain a more complete picture of your blood pressure over time. This is most commonly done at home. The American Heart Association and American Medical Association recommend using an automated validated device with an upper arm cuff and preferably one with memory that stores at least 30 blood pressure readings. If you're unsure, ask your doctor or pharmacist for advice. Typically, you can measure your blood pressure with just the push of a button. Make sure the cuff you're using is the right size and fits properly. If you are not sure, ask your care team. Many factors affect blood pressure results, so it is critical you follow the instructions your care team provides on how to properly self-measure. Watch this video closely. If you have any questions, ask your care team for help before getting started. Let's review step-by-step step how to properly self-measure your blood pressure. First, be prepared. You will be taking your blood pressure twice each morning and twice each evening. If you take blood pressure medication, measure your blood pressure before you take your medication. Prior to measuring your blood pressure, make sure you empty your bladder and avoid exercise, caffeine, and tobacco for at least 30 minutes before getting started. Find a quiet space without distractions. Second, get in the right position. Sit with your back supported and do not cross your legs or ankles. Have your feet flat on the floor. If your feet don't reach, place them on a stool or other object so they are supported. Rest the arm you will use to measure your blood pressure on a firm flat surface at roughly the level of your heart, which is about mid chest. Have the palm of the hand of that arm face up to relax all of the muscles in the arm. Place the blood pressure cuff on your bare upper arm so that the bottom of the cuff is just above the elbow. Once you are positioned properly, rest quietly for five minutes before taking the first measurement. Third, while measuring your blood pressure, do your best to make sure the room stays quiet and avoid talking with anyone, watching or listening to TV, and using the phone or other electronics. Perform your first measurement. When completed, write down your blood pressure numbers and your pulse that are displayed on your device. Wait one minute, then repeat for your second blood pressure measurement. Write down your second blood pressure numbers and your pulse. Your care team may give you a form to use to write down all of your blood pressure measurements and pulse. Continue your self-measured blood pressure monitoring routine according to the instructions given to you by your care team. Report your blood pressure results to your doctor's office in a timely fashion and be prepared to discuss results and take action if needed based on the information you provide. Self-measured blood pressure monitoring is a great way for your healthcare provider to get a more complete picture of your blood pressure. For confirming a diagnosis, assessing blood pressure control after changes in treatment, and monitoring blood pressure control over long periods of time. Remember, you play an important role in ensuring the results your physician or healthcare team receives are accurate. With accurate information, your care team can come up with the best treatment plan for you to improve control of your blood pressure.